must protect the one. Your soul shall be mine. I feel like I definitely need smaller interaction before turn four. Yeah, there's no point keeping Twilight Drake. I have a lot of four drops by the time I get to turn four, especially without, without a coin. Need that zombie chow and dark bomb and stuff. If I didn't get the chow, I think I would have dark bombed because I played Bran on turn three still to curve out. Maybe. So he has gone face even at the cost of this. Might mean as swipe, but I'm not too concerned about it. If I bait out his coin, that's fine. Inner bait. Fill a reaver. It's good for me. Unfortunately, I can't play Peddler this turn. So he has no more swipes, he burned both. That's a good thing to know. This is actually really good because it protects my 401. And he might want to play a 5 drop, but he's an aggro druid. And he is innervates early. He might have smaller things in hero power too. So definitely like playing the taunt here over peddler. And it's pretty likely he plays doesn't get to use all his mana and plays some small minions instead of a five another five drop as well. Because of the whole innervate plays early, he'd never had time. It's not too bad for me, I still had him board. I'm gonna leave up the keeper. Fell River. I can kill this Fell River. But, let me see if there's a better solution. Hmm. Dark Bomb would kill it. Trade and everything. I don't like trading. Okay, let's just go and Shadow Flame. Unfortunately, it doesn't really matter that I milled him. He's already lost both Fell Reavers, seven more cards in his deck. It's, the game's not going to last seven more turns anyways. I guess I can see what cards he's, he's lost, which helps. Lost Darker Boom. No more big minions, I think. Both Fell Reavers and Boom gone. Both swipes gone. Probably still, like, Juggler's coming soon then. Juggler and combo. That's, like, his, his hand is really Juggler combo heavy that means because those aren't those are cards he's never played so far hmm. or lost so far Where shall I strike? For no one. Another night on the Looks like he doesn't have jugglers in his hand. That's a lot of minions to play. He would have played juggler this turn before playing those minions.
that's good. Can I even clear his board, actually? It looks like I can't. Okay, okay. Leave up a 2. So he's this 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I tap the 14. I still don't die to combo, but I'm getting close. I'm going to tap because I need to get something else here. My hand is playing too slow. He's too off with combo. I was hoping I'd get something good with the tap. I still have coils and dark bombs and stuff. It's not guaranteed he has combo, definitely not even that likely, but <clears throat> only has three cards in his hand. He had to lose a lot of other cards though. It might be worth to keep tapping because I can combo a lot of spells with Malagos at this point. Malagos got discounted so much. I'm not sure. If I get a Dark Bomb, I won't be able to combo it if I tap. Okay, I'm not dying to combo here, actually. If I tap, I do die, though. Tap will go to 18. Combo does 19. So I'm not going to tap. It's going to play Malagos out here. And probably even Dark Bomb in the face. Definitely threaten lethal through a lot of things. He's not going to be able to kill Malagos. If I get a Dragon Eye of lethal, if he trades for a 3-3. Three, three. Hopefully he doesn't kill me here. I can see. For the most part though, he had around 10 power, had 20 life. You need around 10 power. I'm not sure the exact number, but it was not that close to lethal. And you can't trade for Melganus just because it's too tough. I'm gonna keep Twilight Drake. It's like extra good in this matchup, that's why without a coin I'm keeping it. And none of the early drops are that good against Rogue. I'd say the best ones are probably, I don't know, it almost seems like Dark Bomb's the best early drop and just tap against Rogue. Kind of like Warrior where like one Deadly Poison kills your whole early game. Coin aside, things like that are all good. It's a good one. Actually, it's really good to have a hand like this against Death Rattle or Rogue. I do kind of get my wish here of if he coin a size, I can at least abuse of in. Go ahead and tap, save the abusive. Damn. Not much of a point in keeping Zombie Chow for later. Abusive is better for later. Even though it does a weapon, it saves my other guy from the weapon, so that's a fair trade. He kind of messed up his curve, I feel, with the coal. It's very hard to hit this kind of curve where you, where you coin out a deadly poison. It's definitely awkward. SI being the main 3 drop, but that's not that easy to use now. Okay, so... 4-6 hmm. here? I guess 4-6 makes more sense in this scenario. I don't need the taunt right now. I have other dragons. Not going for the brand dream. That's too risky. Makes my play this turn too weak. It's not even that likely to survive. Plus, there's things like Zap, so. 
all comments about NAU. This is I'm actually on Europe right now. This game's actually really work. I think it's good for me. Even though he's killed all my stuff, he hasn't traded that efficiently, and uh, he only has four cards. I still have tempo against this kind of deck. 4 4 or 3 6. It doesn't make that much of a difference. I'd rather just play the Drake. Be more mana efficient, get bigger hand size for Emperor, things like that. Kind of weird to see this card come from the left. I almost feel like he could have played that instead. This is weird. I'm almost tempted to play Guardian here to taunt the guy, but it doesn't even matter. It's a 3 attack weapon to kill a 4-1. That's not even that bad. If I tap Guardian, I can play Brand Drake, but I can play Brand Drake anyways. I kind of like the Emperor more. than the Guardian here. I can even tap Brand Drake next turn to make up that card I lost this turn by not tapping. Although I wouldn't be doing that. I would just be playing Gang, actually. That, that, that's, that doesn't make enough sense. Drake is big enough with Bran. It's mostly going to die to Sap. Eight eight. Hmm. Technically, could brand abuse of shadow flame something? I don't think it's worth it. I'm just gonna play out my stuff. One two three four five. It's four eleven. It's exactly eleven. I guess it's if he trades both, I'm okay with that. What does the gang boss contribute? It does contribute. It contributes enough. I have the health buffer to make this play. I leave up the 8-8. Eight eight. So depending on what he plays that last card, I can get a read whether he has sprint or not. Like if he actually does something useful, then maybe he can still have sprint. I guess that's no way that's sprint anymore. Because he has no more cards in his hand. If he plays something useful, then that's not sprint either. He wouldn't have hero powered over sprinting. Uh, I can AoE board clear here. Wait, wait, so... I'm gonna lose a lot of stuff. I'm gonna have to soul fire regardless. Alright, let's go for it. Just gonna buff this guy, shadow flame him. And soul fire. What? I thought that's a zero. No dragon, but I have to ride the tempo here. <clears throat> Almost like I'm playing like a zoo. Because I can dump my whole hand. And soul fire for zero. I'll wait next turn though. He hasn't played any five drop minions. I can kind of get a read out of his hand. It hasn't played any oils. That's the second prep. I'm ready to learn. And his second flurry here. I'm gonna play my stuff out first. Make sure to do that. 
try to get a soul farm for free here. Not looking good. We are just ran our cards. I think I will go ahead and keep mortal. Should I keep this whole hand actually? Or otherwise, I get rid of Hellfire. I'm gonna keep this whole hand. It's, it's kind of not that much early game. Not like a. Zombie Chow and Imp Game Boss. I can easily get run over by Living Roots and Knife Juggler. Nice, that's the dragon I was looking for. What would be the best here? All the all these minions are bad. Dragon egg is hmm. Helps against swipe. I guess Hellfire. Lepernome. Uh Crab is better than Lepernome. No, it's not. <laughs> it has like no potential, Crab. Lepernome by the time that it's I guess I'm taking Lepernome. Because unless I play crab this turn, it's useless, and I don't want to use my coin this turn to play a crab. I want to coin out the four drop. At that point, after I'd rather have the leopard known trade up than a one two. One two is just not going to be useful past this turn to trade for the small things. I would definitely want to value the life on my taunt. Actually, this might be a mid-range, not face. So let's go ahead and uh, see what I get first with this coil. It seems like it's a mid-range druid, actually. Uh, Chow is the best here. I'm not worried about his life so much as fighting for board. Otherwise, Squire is okay. Oh, you can't <laughs> you can't attack. Let's take the Chow. Plays around, swipe the best. Because the beast of the swipe still hits, or <clears throat> swipe still kills the divine shield. It's pretty good there. So swipe would be pretty good if I played either the leopard gnome or the Argent squire. Now it's not so good anymore. Oh, fell reaver is an aggro deck. Super inefficient to trade in with Lepernome and abusive or abusive five six seven eight nine to lose everything. I'm gonna go ahead and play the Azure Drake. I have Heal Bot. Ah, 
I did lose the second fell river bad for me. Because the way I'm playing, second fell river might not be playable since I'm going for leaving this up at least one turn, so. I got two donation from Far From Exact. Does your first name mean clever in Chinese? Love your stream. Do you think with more expansion of the game, the RNG affects more of the game instead of pure skill? Uh, no, my name doesn't mean clever in Chinese. I know what you're talking about, but... Uh, and also, RNG... More expansion. That's, I, I wouldn't say that's true either. It depends what cards are powerful and... Because, like, Discover is the RNG mechanic that's reward skill a lot more because you get to choose. So is it 18? I can leave it up for one more turn and play Emperor here, I think. Even if he has Innervate combo, it would be 14 plus 10. There's no easy way for me to kill it. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go crazy on trying to kill Fell River. I have a lot of healing. I might build mill him out. 14 cards. I have a Shadow Flame. Two cards, unfortunately it got pretty close, but still not quite. I'm almost out of cards. He still looks dead though. It's just one more card and I'm pretty healthy. I can just Hellfire here. Look, give me six more mana. Perfect game. End up at 30 <laughs> against the Melt Deck. I can even beat another Fell River, although it's gone. There's no more Boom or Fell River, but I can Corruptor that. Oh, this is interesting. I would say Mortal Cola isn't super good here. Because I don't have anything proactive to do with this hand. And I don't have a minion like Zombie Chow, Peddler, or Imp Gang. So, unless he's running two ones, it's going to be hard to get the Mortal Coil early. I'd rather just keep this. Try to get some minions. I uh, got six iron donation from Talzor, the unsuccessful. Yo, yeah, Strife Crow, check out the sick beat. I'm not doing YouTube song requests because just keeping my stream clean of music. They mess up my VODs a lot, so. Thanks for the donation, though. I believe I either Dark Bomb or in Coin Tap because I don't have dragons right now, or I play Abusive just to. I wonder. 
because I don't think Abyss will really get better with this hand. It, I mean, I'm sure it'll get better, but I need to play something. Alright, I'm gonna tap. Still no dragon. If I play Abyss and he plays Mad Scientist Ping and then, then it becomes really awkward. Actually, it's not that bad. I can Owl. Nice, got my Twilight Drake. That's actually really helpful. This being a 2-6 and a 3-6 is very different against the Shredder. Had a really slow opening as far as minions go. Too situational, unfortunately. He didn't get the greatest opening either, though. I'll show them. I'll show them all. Succubus. Alright, well, lost my spell power for Mortal Coil. I feel like it's a Hellfire, potentially. I'm gonna Owl this. Maybe a Mirror Entity's that. So then it's not a waste to kill my own Owl. Got rid of the secret for next turn too. Might want to soul fire that. I can't afford to leave that up. It'd, it'd be super bad if I lose my heal bot. Oh, especially with the Bran. But it's all about board control. Bran, abusive big game. Oh. Best of both worlds. Even killing Azure Drakes with Big Game Hunter. <clears throat> That's way better, because it's more like I, my hand's so combo y that if I soul fire it, I'm likely to lose some part of my combo, whether it's Bran or Healbot or I guess things like that. More more potential is something good. Plus, he missed his Dr. Boom turn on 7. He wouldn't have played. Yeah, he Azure Drake pinged, right? He wouldn't have played it if he had Boom. <laughs> okay, he kind of gets punished. Yeah, I'm definitely playing uh, heal bot here over Emperor. Heals me way too much. He's almost out of cards, so it's a, this healing helps. Dinkin, thanks for resubbing. Welcome back to the Strive Crew. Crowfist. He didn't respect the brand, but he got to keep his mana worm alive like this. So technically he didn't really get punished because the mana worm got in 5 more damage. I only healed for 8 more. Let's go ahead and Shadow Flame, but I'm, I'm gonna... I mean Hellfire, I'm gonna attack first though. So I don't kill my peddler. I need more immediate effects like my Blackwing Corruptors and Dark Bomb or something. Right now I don't have a lot of immediate effects. I guess unless you're counting the soul fire, but he's still only played one mirror entity, so we don't want to kill it this turn. I think it would just be too hard. I guess I can shadow flame, but that, then I'm not playing emperor. I'm just gonna coil this and leave that guy up. Hope he didn't get a pyro, because next turn I might be able to feed him a chow. Oh. 
So we got one random spell left. Oh my god. Let's see what happens here first. I'm playing this no matter what. First. I can even decide to tap after depending on what secret it is. I'm gonna play everything here. Makes more sense. What if it's Flame Strike? Well, then I'm just gonna cry. So many possibilities. Oh my god, it's a dragon. Wow. Uh, to our nation, Obama. Obama here, Strifer is going to jail unless chat pays his bail of one million kappas. Was this created by? No, so he still has the thing that was created by the conjurer. He did suicide in that. I, I probably won't play in Keelbot this turn. I'm gonna Shadow Flame. I have spell power, so let's go ahead and Shadow Flame this and just trade off. Three missiles, but my board is pretty resilient against missiles right now. I try to keep it as healthy as possible HP wise. He's gonna lose his own minion, right? If he <laughs> hero powers. I guess that's what that does. So both entities are gone. Which means it's probably counterspell. I wield the power of black. I can always use Cloak and Field whenever to proc the counterspell. I don't think it's necessary this turn. None of my minions are particularly weak. Where I would want to stealth any particular minion to play Drake and stealth something. Okay, that's his hand, huh? It's just the three missiles. Plus, that should be counterspell. If he doesn't kill. I don't know. He might be dead here, actually, depending on what happens. I have 9 on board plus 7. 9 plus 7 should be enough. It is Ice Block. Well, I kind of play around it. Got him as low as possible. <clears throat> the might of has arrived.